the Suevi, then Sibi and in the 6th century also Suavi, were a large group of people who lived in Germania and were first mentioned by Julius Caesar in connection with Ariovista's campaign in Gaul, c. 58 BC. While Caesar treated them as one Germanic tribe, though the largest and most warlike, later authors such as Tacitus, Pliny and Strabo specified that the Suevi do not, like the Chatti or Tuncturi, constitute a single nation. They actually occupy more than half of Germany, and are divided into a number of distinct tribes under distinct names, though all generally are called CB. At one time, classical ethnography had applied the name Suevi to so many Germanic tribes that it appeared as though in the first centuries AD. This native name would replace the foreign name Germans. Classical authors noted that the Suevic tribes, compared to other Germanic tribes, were very mobile, and not reliant upon agriculture. Various Suevic groups moved from the direction of the Baltic Sea and River Elbe, becoming a periodic threat to the Roman Empire on their Rhine and Danube frontiers. Toward the end of the empire, the Alemanni, also referred to as Sibi, first settled in the agri decumates and then across the Rhine and occupied Alsace. A pocket remained in the region now still called Swabia, an area in southwest Germany whose modern name derives from the CB. Others moved as far as Galatia and established a Suebic kingdom of Galatia there which lasted for 170 years until its integration into the Visigothic kingdom. The CB may not have been identical to the Suevi living in the Schalt area in the 6th and 7th centuries, who are supposed to have given their name to the Dutch province of Zeeland. Etymology Etymologists trace the name from Proto Germanic, Swabaz, either based on the Proto Germanic root swa meaning one's own people, or on the third person reflexive pronoun, or from an earlier Indo European root swi. The etymological sources list the following ethnic names as also from the same root Suians, Samnones, Samnites, Zabili, Sabini indicating the possibility of a prior more extended and common Indo-European ethnic name, our own people. Alternatively, it may be borrowed from a Celtic word for vagabond. Classification equals more than one tribe equals, Caesar placed the CB east of the Ubo apparently near modern Hesse, in the position where later writers mention the Chatti, and he distinguished them from their allies the Marcomanni. Some commentators believe that Caesar's CB were the later Chatti or possibly the Hermunderi, or even the Samnones. Later authors use the term CB more broadly, to cover a large number of tribes in central Germany. Although no classical authors explicitly call the Chatti Suevic, Pliny the Elder, reported in his Natural History that the Hermans were a large grouping of related Germanic gents or tribes including not only the CB, but also the Hermunderi. Chatti and Cherisi. Whether or not the Chatti were ever considered Suevi, both Tacitus and Strabo distinguished the two partly because the Chatti were more settled in one territory, whereas Suevi remained less settled. The definitions of the greater ethnic groupings within Germania were apparently not always consistent and clear, especially in the case of mobile groups such as the Suevi. Whereas Tacitus reported three main kinds of German peoples Hermans, Istver ones, and Ingvil ones, Pliny specifically adds two more genera or kinds, the Bastani and the Vandali. The Vandali were tribes east of the Elbe, including the well-known Silingi, Goths, and Burgundians, an area which Tacitus treated as Suebic. That the Vandals might be a separate type of Germanic people is a possibility Tacitus noted also, but for example the Varini are named as Vandilic by Pliny, and specifically Suebic by Tacitus. Also the modern term Elbe Germanic covers a large grouping of Germanic peoples that at least overlaps with the classical terms Suevi, and Hermans. However this term was developed mainly as an attempt to define the ancient peoples who must have spoken the Germanic dialects that led to modern Upper German dialects spoken in Austria, Bavaria, Thuringia, Alsace, baden wawan quarter rutenberg and German-speaking Switzerland. This was proposed by Friedrich Maurer as one of five major cultures or culture groups, whose dialects developed in the southern German area from the 1st century BC through to the 4th century AD. Apart from his own linguistic work with modern dialects, he also referred to the archaeological and literary analysis of Germanic tribes done earlier by Gustav Kossiner in terms of these proposed ancient dialects, the Vandals, 
Goths and Burgundians are generally referred to as members of an Eastern Germanic group, distinct from the Ilbe Germanic. Equals tribes names in classical sources equals. Northern Bank of the Danube, in the time of Caesar, southern Germany was Celtic, but coming under pressure from Germanic groups led by the CB. As described later by Tacitus, what is today southern Germany between the Danube, the main river, and the Rhine had been deserted by the departure of two large Celtic nations, the Helvetur and modern Schwaben in the while further east near the Hyacinian Forest. In addition, also near the Hyacinian Forest Caesar believed that the Celtic Tectosiges had once lived. All of these peoples had for the most part moved by the time of Tacitus. Strabo, in Book 4 of his Geography also associates the CB with the Hyacinian Forest and the south of Germania north of the Danube. He describes a chain of mountains north of the Danube that is like a lower extension of the Alps, possibly the Swabian Alps, and further east the Gabretta Forest, possibly the modern Bohemian Forest. In Book 7 Strabo specifically mentions as Suevic peoples the Marcomanni, who under King Marobodus had moved into the same Hyacinian Forest as the Koldui, taking over an area called Boyamum. This king took the rulership and acquired, in addition to the peoples aforementioned, the Lugger, the Zumi, the Butones, the Mugilones, the Sibini, and also the Simnones, a large tribe of the Suevi themselves. Some of these tribes were inside the forest, and some outside of it. Tacitus confirms the name Boimum, saying it was a survival marking the old traditional population of the place, the Celtic Wa, though the population had changed. Tacitus describes a series of very powerful Subian states in his own time, running along the north of the Danube which was the frontier with Rome, and stretching into the lands where the Ilbe originates in the modern-day Czech Republic. Going from west to east the first were the Hermunderi, living near the sources of the Ilbe and stretching across the Danube into Roman Russia. Next came the Neusti, the Marcomanni, and then the Quadi. The Quadi are on the edge of Greater Subia, having the Sarmatians to the southeast. Claudius Ptolemy the geographer did not always state which tribes were Sibi, but along the northern bank of the Danube, from west to east and starting at the desert formerly occupied by the Helvetur, he names the Parmacumpi, then the Odrabecumpi, and then a large people known as the Beamoi, and then the Rakatrii. North of the Beamoi, is the Lunar Forest which is iron mines, and which is south of the Quadi. North of the Odrabecumpi, are the Sudini and then the Marcomanni living in the Gambrita forest. North of them, but south of the Sudetes mountains are the Baristi, who were probably the same as Tacitus and Aristi mentioned above. Jordans writes that in the early 4th century the Vandals had moved to the north of the Danube, but with the Marcomanni still to their west, and the Hermunderi still to their north. A possible sign of confusion in this comment is that he equates the area in question to later Jepidia, which was further south in Pannonia, modern Hungary, and east of the Danube. In general, as discussed below, the Danubian Sibi, along with the neighbours such as the Vandals, apparently moved southwards into Roman territories, both south and east of the Danube, during this period. Approaching the Rhine, Caesar describes the Sibi as pressing the German tribes of the Rhine, such as the Tuncteri, Eusipetes and Uber, from the east, forcing them from their homes. While emphasizing their warlike nature he writes as if they had a settled homeland somewhere between the Cherisi and the Uber, and separated from the Cherisi by a deep forest called the Silver Bacinus. He also describes the Marcomanni as a tribe distinct from the Sibi, and also active within the same alliance. But he does not describe where they were living. Strabo wrote that the Sibi excel all the others in power and numbers. He describes Suebic peoples as having come to dominate Germany between the Rhine and Ilbe, with the exception of the Rhine Valley, on the frontier with the Roman Empire, and the coastal regions north of the Rhine. The geographer, Ptolemy, in a fairly extensive account of Greater Germany, makes several unusual mentions of CB between the Rhine and the Ilbe. He describes their position as stretching out in a band from the Ilbe, all the way to the northern Rhine, near the Sugembri. The Suevi Langobidi are the Suevi located closest to the Rhine, far to the east of where most sources report them. To the east of the Langobidi, are the Suevi Angeli, extending as far north as the Middle Elbe, also to the east of the position reported in other sources. 
it has been speculated that Ptolemy may have been confused by his sources, or else that this position of the Langobardi represented a particular moment in history. As discussed below, in the 3rd century a large group of CB, also referred to as the Lmini moved up to the Rhine bank in modern Schwerben, which had previously been controlled by the Romans. The Elbe, Strabo does not say much about the CB east of the Elbe, saying that this region was still unknown to Romans, but mentions that a part of the CB live there, naming only specifically the Hermunderi and the Langobardi. But he mentions these are there because of recent defeats at Roman hands which had forced them over the river. In any case he says that the area near the Elbe itself is held by the CB. From Tacitus and Ptolemy we can derive more details, the Semnones, are described by Tacitus as the oldest and noblest of the CB, and like the CB described by Caesar they have 100 cantons. Tacitus says that the vastness of their community makes them regard themselves as the head of the Suevic race. According to Ptolemy the Suevi Semnones live upon the Elbe and stretch as far east as a river apparently named after them, the Suevus, probably the Oder. South of them he places the Silingi, and then, again upon the Elbe, the Caloucans. To the southeast further up the upper Elbe he places not the Hermunderi mentioned by other authors, but the Binewatch AMA. The Langobidi live a bit further from Rome's borders, in scanty numbers, but surrounded by a host of most powerful tribes, and kept safe by daring the perils of war according to Tacitus. Tacitus names seven tribes who live next after the Langobidi, fenced in by rivers or forests stretching into the remoter regions of Germany. These all worshipped Ntha, or Mother Earth, whose sacred grove was on an island in the ocean, Rudigni, Avians, Angelia, Barani, Eidoses, Suarini and New Etons. At the mouth of the Elbe, the classical authors do not place any Suevi, but rather the Shochi to the west of the Elbe, and the Saxons to the east, and in the neck of peninsula. Note that while various errors and confusions are possible, Ptolemy places the Angles and Langobardi west of the Elbe, where they may indeed have been present at some points in time, given that the CB were often mobile. East of the Elbe, it is already mentioned above that stretching between the Elbe and the Oder, the classical authors place the Suebic Semnones. Ptolemy places the Silingi to their south in the sketch between these rivers. These Silingi appear in later history as a branch of the Vandali, and were therefore likely to be speakers of East Germanic dialects. Their name is associated with medieval Silesia. Further south on the Elbe, the Binewatch AMA in between them and the Askeberg in mountains Ptolemy names a tribe called the Batini, apparently north and or east of the Elbe. According to Tacitus, around the north of the Danubian Marcomini and Quadi, dwelling in forests and on mountain tops, live the Marzigni, and Buri, who in their language and manner of life, resemble the Suevi. Ptolemy also places the Lugiburi in mountains, along with a tribe called the Corconti. These mountains, stretching from near the upper Elbe to the headwaters of the Vistula, he calls the Askebergin Mountains. Between these mountains and the Quadi he adds several tribes, from north to south these are the Sidons, Cotini and the Visbergi. There is then the Osinian Forest, which Ptolemy defines with relatively restricted boundaries, and then the Quadi. Beyond this mountain range where the Marzigni and Buri lived, in the area of modern southwest Poland, Tacitus reported a multitude of tribes, the most widespread name of which was the Lugir. These included the Hara, Helviconi, Monimi, Halicia and Nahavali. As mentioned above, Ptolemy categorizes the Buri amongst the Lugir, and concerning the Lugir north of the mountains, he named two large groups, the Lugoyomanoi and the Lugoydidonoi, who live between the Suevus River and the Vistula, south of the Burgundy. These Burgundians who according to Ptolemy lived between the Baltic Sea Germans and the Lugir, stretching between the Suevus and Vistula rivers, were described by Pliny the Elder as being not Suevic but Vandali, amongst whom he also included the Goths, and the Varani, both being people living north of them near the Baltic coast. Pliny's Vandali are generally thought to be speakers of what modern linguists refer to as Eastern Germanic. Between the coastal Saxons and inland Sibi, Ptolemy names the Teutoneri and the Viruni, and further east, between the coastal Farodni and the Sibi are the Teutons and then the Avani. Further east again, between the Burgundians and the coastal Rugicli were the Elvawans. 
Baltic Sea, Tacitus called the Baltic Sea the Subian Sea beyond the Danish Isles are the farthest people of Germania, the Hermans. North of the Lugir, near the Baltic Sea Tacitus places the Gathans, Raja, and Lemovir. These three Germanic tribes share a tradition of having kings, and also similar arms, round shields and short swords. Ptolemy says that east of the Saxons, from the Charlesis River to the Suevian River are the Farodni, then the Sedini up to the Viadua River, and after these the Rugicli up to the Vistula River. He does not specify if these are Suevi. In the sea, the states of the Suians, powerful in ships are according to Tacitus Germans with the Suevic Sea on one side and an almost motionless sea on the other more remote side. Modern commentators believe this refers to Scandinavia. Closely bordering on the Suians and closely resembling them, are the tribes of the Setones. Ptolemy describes Scandinavia as being inhabited by Chiladini in the west, Favoni and Firaci in the east, Finni in the north, Gorti and Dautians in the south, and Leveni in the middle. He does not describe them as CB. Tacitus describes the non Germanic Orlester on the eastern shore of the Suevic Sea, whose rites and fashions and style of dress are those of the Suevi. While their language is more like the British after giving this account, Tacitus says, here Subia ends. Therefore, for Tacitus geographic Subia comprises the entire periphery of the Baltic Sea, including within it tribes not identified as Cebi or even Germanic. On the other hand, Tacitus does clearly consider there to be not only a Subian region, but also Subian languages, and Subian customs, which all contribute to making a specific tribe more or less Subian. Cultural characteristics, Caesar noted that rather than grain crops, they spent time on husbandry and hunting. They wore animal skins, bathed in rivers, consumed milk and meat products, and prohibited wine, allowing trade only to dispose of their booty and otherwise they had no goods to export. They had no private ownership of land and were not permitted to stay resident in one place for more than one year. They were divided into 100 cantons, each of which had to provide and support 1,000 armed men for the constant pursuit of war. Strabo describes the Sebian people from their part of the world as highly mobile and nomadic, unlike more settled and agricultural tribes such as the Chatti and Cherasi. They do not till the soil or even store up food, but live in small huts that are merely temporary structures. And they live for the most part off their flocks, as the nomads do, so that, in imitation of the nomads, they load their household belongings on their wagons and with their beasts turn whithersoever they think best. Notable in classical sources, the Subi can be identified by their hairstyle called the Subian knot, which distinguishes the freeman from the slave. Or in other words served as a badge of social rank. The same passage points out that chiefs use an even more elaborate style. Tacitus mentions the sacrifice of humans practiced by the Semnones in a sacred grove and the murder of slaves used in the rites of Nis practiced by the tribes of Schleswig-Holstein. The chief priest of the Nahavali dresses as a woman and that tribe also worships in groves. The Harab fight at night died black. The Suayans own fleets of rowing vessels with prows at both ends. Historical events. Equals Ario Vistus and the CB in 58 BC equals. Julius Caesar lived 100 BC a Euro March 15, 44 BC. The CB he describes in his first hand account, De Bello Gallico were the largest and the most warlike nation of all the Germans. Caesar confronted a large army led by a Suevic king named Ario Vistus in 58 BC who had been settled for some time in Gaul already, at the invitation of the Gaulish Arverni in Sequani as part of their war against the Adui. He had already been recognized as a king by the Roman Senate. Ario Vistus forbade the Romans from entering into Gaul. Caesar on the other hand saw himself and Rome as an ally and defender of the Adui. The forces Caesar faced in battle were composed of Haruds, Marcomini, Triboci, Vangins, Nemetes, Seduzir, and Suevi. While Caesar was preparing for conflict, a new force of Sebi was led to the Rhine by two brothers, Norius and Symberius forcing Caesar to rush in order to try to avoid the joining of forces. Caesar defeated Ario Vistus in battle, forcing him to escape across the Rhine. When news of this spread, the fresh Subian forces turned back in some panic, which led to local tribes living near the Rhine to take advantage of the situation, attacking them. 
equals Caesar and the CB in 55 BC equals, also reported within Caesar's accounts of the Gallic Wars, the CB posed another threat in 55 BC. The Germanic Iber, who had worked out an alliance with Caesar, were complaining of being harassed by the CB, and the Tuncteri and Eusapetes, already forced from their homes, tried to cross the Rhine and enter Gaul by force. Caesar bridged the Rhine, the first known to do so, with a pile bridge, which though considered a marvel, was dismantled after only 18 days. The CB abandoned their towns closest to the Romans, retreated to the forest and assembled an army. Caesar moved back across the bridge and broke it down, stating that he had achieved his objective of warning the CB. They in turn stopped harassing the Iber. Equals Rhine crossing of 29 BC equals, Cassius Dio, wrote the history of Rome for a Greek audience, and lived approximately AD 150 a Euro 235. He reported that shortly before 29 BC the CB crossed the Rhine, only to be defeated by Gaius Quirinus who along with the young Octavian Caesar celebrated a triumph in 29 BC. Shortly after they turn up fighting a group of Dacians in a gladiatorial display at Rome celebrating the consecration of the Julian hero shrine. Equals the victory of Drusus in 9 BC equals, Suetonius gives the CB brief mention in connection with their defeat against Nero Claudius Drusus in 9 BC. He says that the CB and Sugembri submitted to him and were taken into Gaul and settled in lands near the Rhine while the other Germani were pushed to the farther side of the river Albis. He must have meant the temporary military success of Drusus, as it is unlikely the Rhine was cleared of Germans. Elsewhere he identifies the settlers as 40,000 prisoners of war only a fraction of the yearly draft of militia. Florus, gives a more detailed view of the operations of 9 BC. He reports that the Cherusci, CB and Sicumbri formed an alliance by crucifying twenty Roman centurions, but that Drusus defeated them, confiscated their plunder and sold them into slavery. Presumably only the war party was sold, as the CB continued to appear in the ancient sources. Floris's report of the peace brought to Germany by Drusus is glowing but premature. He built more than 500 forts, and two bridges guarded by fleets. He opened a way through the Hyacinian forest, which implies but still does not overtly state that he had subdued the CB. In a word, there was such peace in Germany that the inhabitants seemed changed. And the very climate milder and softer than it used to be. In the annals of Tacitus, it is mentioned that after the defeat of 9 BC Augustus divided the Germans by making a separate peace with the Sugembri and CB under their king Maroboduus. This is the first mention of any permanent king of the CB. However, Maroboduus' people was in most sources referred to as the Marcomini, a name that had already existed since Caesar's time, and which Caesar had treated as a separate people. At some point in this period came to be settled in the forested regions once inhabited by the Wa, in and around Bohemia. Augustus planned in 6 AD to destroy the kingdom of Maroboduus, which he considered to be too dangerous for the Romans. The later emperor Tiberius commanded twelve legions to attack the Marcomanni. But the outbreak of a revolt in Illyria, and the need for troops there, forced Tiberius to conclude a treaty with Maroboduus and to recognize him as king. Equals Roman defeat in 9 AD equals. After the death of Drusus, the Cherusci annihilated three legions at the Battle of Teutoburg Forest and thereafter. The empire was checked on the banks of the Rhine. While elements of the Suebi may have been involved, this was an alliance mainly made up of non-Suebic tribes from northwestern Germany, the Cherusci, Marci, Chatti, Bructeri, Schocci, and Sicumbri. The kingdom of Marcomanni and their allies stayed out of the conflict and when Maroboduus was sent the head of the defeated Roman leader Varus, he sent it on to Rome for burial. Within his alliance were other Suebic peoples, Hermunderi, Quadi, Simnones, Lugir, Zumi, Butones, Mugilones, Sibeni and Langobards. Equals aftermath of 9 AD equals, subsequently Augustus placed Germanicus, the son of Drusus, in charge of the forces of the Rhine and he after dealing with a mutiny of the troops proceeded against the Cherusci and their allies, breaking their power finally at the Battle of Idistavasus, a plain on the Weser. 
all eight legions and supporting units of Gauls were required to do that. Germanicus Zeal led finally to his being replaced by his cousin Drusus, Tiberius' son, as Tiberius thought it best to follow his predecessor's policy of limiting the empire. Germanicus certainly would have involved the Sebi, with unpredictable results. Arminius, leader of the Cherusci and allies, now had a free hand. He accused Mirabodius of hiding in the Hyacinian forest while the other Germans fought for freedom, and accused Mirabodius of being the only king among the Germans. The two groups turned their arms against each other. The Suebixamnones and Langobidi rebelled against their king and went over to the Cherusci. Left with only the Marcomanni and Herminius' uncle, who had defected, Mirabodius appealed to Drusus, now governor of Illyricum, and was given only a pretext of aid. The resulting battle was indecisive but Mirabodius withdrew to Bohemia and sent for assistance to Tiberius. He was refused on the grounds that he had not moved to help Varus. Drusus encouraged the Germans to finish him off. A force of Goths under Catialda, a Marcomanian exile, bought off the nobles and seized the palace. Mirabodius escaped to Noricum and the Romans offered him refuge in Ravenna where he remained the rest of his life. He died in 37 AD. After his expulsion the leadership of the Marcomanni was contested by their Suebic neighbors and allies, the Hermunderi and Quadi. Equals Marcomannic Wars equals. In the 2nd century AD, the Marcomanni entered into a confederation with other peoples including the Quadi, Vandals, and Sarmatians, against the Roman Empire. The war began in 166, when the Marcomanni overwhelmed the defences between Vindobona and Carnuntum, penetrated along the border between the provinces of Pannonia and Noricum, laid waste to Flavia Solva, and could be stopped only shortly before reaching Aquileia on the Adriatic Sea. The war lasted until Marcus Aurelius' death in 180. In the 3rd century Jordans claims that the Marcomanni paid tribute to the Goths, and that the princes of the Quadi were enslaved. The Vandals, who had moved south towards Pannonia, were apparently still sometimes able to defend themselves. Migration period. In 259-60, a group of CB appear to have been the main element in the formation of a new tribal alliance known as the Aelmani who came to occupy the Roman frontier region known as the Agridecimates, east of the Rhine and south of the Main. The Aelmani were sometimes simply referred to as CB by contemporaries, and the region came to be known as Swabia, a name which survives to this day. People in this region of Germany are still called Schweben, a name derived from the CB. These CB for the most part stayed on the right bank of the Rhine until December 31, 406, when much of the tribe joined the Vandals and Alans in breaching the Roman frontier by crossing the Rhine, perhaps at Mainz, thus launching an invasion of northern Gaul. Other CB apparently remained in or near to the original homeland areas near the Elba and the modern Czech Republic, occasionally still being referred to by this term. They expanded eventually into Roman areas such as Switzerland, Austria, and Bavaria, possibly pushed by groups arriving from the east. Another group of CB, the so-called Northern CB were mentioned in 569 under Frankish King Siegbert I in areas of today's Saxony Anhalt which were known as Schwabinger or Svebinger at least until the 12th century. In connection to the Svebi, Saxons and Lombards, returning from the Italian peninsula in 573, are also mentioned. Further south, a group of CB settled in parts of Pannonia, after the Huns were defeated in 454 in the Battle of Nede. Later, the Subian king Hunaman fought against the Ostrogoths in the Battle of Bolia in 469. The Subian coalition lost the battle, and parts of the CB therefore migrated to southern Germany. Equals Kingdom of Galatia equals Migration, CB under their king Hermeric, probably coming from the Aelmani, or maybe from the Quadi, worked their way into the south of France eventually crossing the Pyrenees and entering the Iberian Peninsula which was out of imperial rule since the rebellion of Gerontius and Maximus in 409. Passing through the Basque country, they settled in the Roman province of Galatia, in northwestern Hispania, swore fealty to the Emperor Honorius and were accepted as Foedrati and permitted to settle, under their own autonomous governance. Contemporaneously with the self-governing province of Britannia, 
the kingdom of the Sebi in Galatia became the first of the sub-Roman kingdoms to be formed in the disintegrating territory of the Western Roman Empire. Sueba Galatia was the first kingdom separated from the Roman Empire to mint coins. The Suebic Kingdom in Galatia and northern Lusitania was established at 410 and lasted until 584. Smaller than the Ostrogothic Kingdom of Italy or the Visigothic Kingdom in Hispania, it reached a relative stability and prosperity a euro, and even expanded military southwards a euro despite the occasional quarrels with the neighboring Visigothic Kingdom. Settlement The Germanic invaders and immigrants settled mainly in rural areas. As Adishias clearly stated, the Hispanic, sprayed over cities and Apida, and the barbarians, govern over the provinces. According to Dan Stanislavski, the Portuguese way of living in northern regions is mostly inherited from the Sibi, in which small farms prevail, distinct from the large properties of southern Portugal. Bracara Augusta, the modern city of Braga and former capital of Roman Galatia, became the capital of the Sibi. Arosius, at that time resident in Hispania, shows a rather pacific initial settlement, the newcomers working their lands or serving as bodyguards of the locals. Another Germanic group that accompanied the CB and settled in Galatia were the Buri. They settled in the region between the rivers Carvado and Homem, in the area known as Terras de Boro. As the CB quickly adopted the local language, few traces were left of their Germanic tongue but for some words and for their personal and land names, adopted by most of the Galicians. In Galicia four parishes and six villages are named Suravos or Sugos, that is Swivs, after old Suebic settlements. Establishment, the Visigoths were sent in 416 by the emperor to fight the Germanic invaders in Hispania, but they soon re-established themselves as Foedrati in Aquitania after completely defeating the Alans and the Silingi Vandals. The absence of competition permitted, first the Austini Vandals and later the Sibi, to expand south and east. At its heyday Suebi Galatia extended as far south as Mar Copyright Rider and Seville, capitals of the Roman provinces of Lusitania and Betica, while their expeditions reached Zaragoza and Leida. In 438 Hermeric ratified the peace with the Galaci, the local and just partially Romanized rural population, and sick and weary of fighting abdicated in favor of his son Rashila, who proved to be a notable general, defeating first Andavotus, Romani Malai Tyridu, and later Vitus Magister Atriosk Malai In 448, Rashila died, leaving the crown to his son Rashia who had converted to Roman Catholicism circa 447. Soon, he married a daughter of the Gothic king Theodoric I and began a wave of attacks on the Tarraconans, still a Roman province. By 456 the campaigns of Rhaetia clashed with the interests of the Visigoths, and a large army of Roman federates crossed the Pyrenees into Hispania, and defeated the Sibi near modern-day Astorga. Rhaetia was executed after being captured by his brother-in-law, the Visigothic king Theodoric II. In 459, Roman Emperor Majorian defeated the Sibi briefly restoring Roman rule in northern Hispania. Nevertheless, the CB became free of Roman control forever after Majorian was assassinated two years later. The Suebic kingdom then became cornered in the northwest, in Galatia and northern Lusitania, where political division and civil war arose among several pretenders to the royal throne. After years of turmoil, Remismund was recognized as the sole king of the CB bringing forth the politic of friendship with the Visigoths, and favoring the conversion of his people to Arianism. Last Years of the Kingdom In 561 King Ariamir called the Catholic First Council of Braga, which dealt with the old problem of the Priscillianism heresy. Eight years after, in 569, King Theodomir called the First Council of Lugo, in order to increase the number of dioceses within his kingdom. Its acts have been preserved through a medieval resume known as Parochial Shivorum or Divisio Thedomiri. Defeat by the Visigoths, in 570 the Arian king of the Visigoths, Leo Vigild, made his first attack on the CB. Between 572 and 574, Leo Vigild invaded the valley of the Douro, pushing the CB west and northwards. In 575 the Suebic king, Miro, 
made a peace treaty with Leah Vigild in what seemed to be the beginning of a new period of stability. Yet, in 583 Miro supported the rebellion of the Catholic Gothic Prince Hermann Egild, engaging in military action against King Leah Vigild, although Miro was defeated in Seville when trying to break on through the blockade on the Catholic Prince. As a result, he was forced to recognize Leah Vigild as friend and protector, the human for his successes, dying back home just some months later. His son, King Eboric, confirmed the friendship with Leah Vigild, but he was deposed just a year later by his brother-in-law Ordica, giving Leah Vigild an excuse to attack the kingdom. In 585 AD, first Ordica and later Malaric, were defeated and the Suebic kingdom was incorporated into the Visigothic one as its sixth province. The Sebi were respected in their properties and freedom, and continued to dwell in Galatia, finally merging with the rest of the local population during the early Middle Ages. Religion equals Conversion to Arianism equals, the Sebi remained mostly pagan, and their subjects Priscillianist until an Arian missionary named Ajax, sent by the Visigothic king Theodoric II at the request of the Suebic unifier Amismond, in 466 converted them and established a lasting Arian church which dominated the people until the conversion to Chalcedonianism in the 560s. Equals Conversion to Chalcedonianism equals Mutually incompatible accounts of the conversion of the CB to Chalcedonian Christianity are presented in the primary records, the minutes of the First Council of Braga Euro, which met on May 1, 561 a Euro state explicitly that the synod was held at the orders of a king named Ariamir. Of the eight assistant bishops, just one bears a Suebic name, Hildemir. While the Catholicism of Ariamir is not in doubt, that he was the first Chalcedonian monarch of the CB since Russia has been contested on the grounds that his Catholicism is not explicitly stated. He was, however, the first Suebic monarch to hold a Catholic synod, and when the Second Council of Braga was held at the request of King Miro, a Catholic himself, in 572, of the twelve assistant bishops five bears Suebic names, Remesel of Bissu, Edoric of Idana, Witimer of Orans. Nitages of Lugo and Anila of Tui. The Historia Shivurum of Isidore of Seville states that a king named Theodema brought about the conversion of his people from Arianism with the help of the missionary Martin of Demio. According to the Frankish historian Gregory of Tours on the other hand, an otherwise unknown sovereign named Shararic, having heard of Martin of Tours, promised to accept the beliefs of the saint if only his son would be cured of leprosy. Through the relics and intercession of St. Martin the son was healed. Shararic and the entire royal household converted to the Nicene faith. By 589, when the Third Council of Toledo was held, and the Visigoth Kingdom of Toledo converses officially from Arianism to Catholicism, King Rikedi stated in its minutes that also an infinite number of CB have converted, together with the Goths, which implies that the earlier conversion were either superficial or partial. In the same council four bishops from Galatia abjured of their Arianism. And so, the Suebic conversion is ascribed, not to a Swebe, but to a Visigoth by John of Bicklerum, who puts their conversion alongside that of the Goths, occurring under Rikedi in 587 a Euro 589. Most scholars have attempted to meld these stories. It has been alleged that Shararic and Thedemir must have been successors of Ariamir. Since Ariamir was the first Suebic monarch to lift the ban on Catholic synods, Isidore therefore gets the chronology wrong. Reinhardt suggested that Shararic was converted first through the relics of Saint Martin and that Thedemir was converted later through the preaching of Martin of Demio. Dan equated Shararic with Thedemir, even saying that the latter was the name he took upon baptism. It has also been suggested that Thedemir and Ariamir were the same person and the son of Shararic. In the opinion of some historians, Shararic is nothing more than an error on the part of Gregory of Tours and never existed. If, as Gregory relates, Martin of Demio died about the year 580 and had been bishop for about 30 years, then the conversion of Shararic must have occurred around 550 at the latest. Finally, Ferreiro believes the conversion of the CB was progressive and stepwise and that Shararic's public conversion was only followed by the lifting of a ban on Catholic synods in the reign of his successor, which would have been Ariamir. 
Thedemir was responsible for beginning a persecution of the Aryans in his kingdom to root out their heresy. Norse mythology, the name of the sea bee also appears in Norse mythology and in early Scandinavian sources. The earliest attestation is the Proto-Norse name Svabahaj is on the Ra paragraph runestone and in the place name Svajislav. Svarfar, whose name means Subian, was a Valkyrie who appears in the Eddic poem Helgakvia degree Ajar paragraph Rvara degree Sinar. The kingdom Svarfaland also appears in this poem and in the Aea degree Rex Saga. Language while there is debate possible about whether all tribes identified by Romans as Germanic spoke a Germanic language, the CB are generally agreed to have spoken one, and classical sources refer to a Subian language. In particular, the CB are associated with the concept of an Elbe Germanic group of early dialects, entering Germany from the east, and originating on the Baltic. In late classical times, these dialects, by now situated to the south of the Elbe, and stretching across the Danube into the Roman Empire, experienced the High German consonant shift that defines modern High German, and in its most extreme form, Upper Germanic dialects. Modern Swabian German, and Alemannic German more broadly, are therefore assumed to have evolved at least in part from Subian. However, Bavarian, Thuringian, the Langobardic language spoken by the Lombards of Italy, and Standard High German itself, are also at least partly derived from the dialects spoken by the CB. See also Swabia, Dukes of Swabia family tree, Germanic personal names in Galissa, Laeti. Equals notes equals. Equals bibliography equals. External links. The Chronicle of Hydatius is the main source for the history of the CB in Galissa and Portugal up to 468. Identity and Interaction the Suevi and the Hispano-Romans, University of Virginia, 2007, Medieval Galician Anthroponymy, Minutes of the Councils of Briga and Toledo, in the Collectio Hispana Gallican Augusto Dunensis, Erosius Historia Romadversum Paganos Libri 7.